Have you ever wondered if inertial propulsion can actually generate enough propulsive force to power a vessel of any kind? Have you ever wondered if it could propel a spacecraft across the empty void of space? Well, I wondered the same thing. In 2019, I set out to prove it one way or the other, and I built one to find out. I'm Brian St. Clair, and I build and test experimental pulsed inertial engine propulsion systems, or PIs. I put them to the test in real-world applications. This video is the first in a series of videos where we are going to take a closer look at this technology. We're going to examine the operation of the PI version 1, the PI 1. I'm going to share the results and we're going to talk about what worked and what didn't work. So here I'm going to introduce you to the PI system. PI for Pulsed Inertial Engine. It is similar to the Thornson Drive, the Thornson Ezekiel. It's not always easy for me to say. It's similar to the Thornson Drive, but it's got a number of subtle but very important differences. Let's see it in action. Here's the Pi 1 that I pulled out of storage, just so that we could take a look at it. I'd like to be able to demonstrate this for you. I'll be honest, when I started out, I had mixed results. Thrust was seemingly coming and going. We found that this was because of the belt that we were using to drive it between the motor and the main pulley. And that belt was slipping a little bit. The slippage happened during times of heaviest load when the machine was working the hardest. As soon as that was eliminated, we had thrust again. This unit was tested in a motor vehicle on the highways in the United States, city streets, open highway, combination driving, up and down hills, and all sorts of different modes of driving. It continued to demonstrate good thrust and good performance throughout all of those road tests. These successful tests prompted us to build larger and more powerful units. Thanks for joining me. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Please subscribe to, for more do-it-yourself propulsion systems. Some of ours and some of other people's too. In the very near future, we will be offering an updated builder's guide for sale. That is to support this work and fund upcoming experiments, which so far have been solely funded out of pocket. So hopefully you'll join me over at my YouTube channel to watch other videos and on my website at www.stclairtech.tech. We also have a blog that you can access directly from the website. Quick and easy link. I will have more in this series coming in the following weeks. I'm hoping to do at least one video per week over the next 10 or 12 weeks. So until next time, thanks for joining me, and please be good to yourselves. I'll see you next time.